My name is Daniela Turbin and I'm an artist. So I've been on a three month residency at the art gallery and um, my plan was to walk as much of the West Midlands during that time as I could and take like photographs. Um, but that, like, that changed a bit actually because it was like such a, an amazing space. It's actually like giving me the time to um, use the space and go back into like drawing which was a massive like part of my practice before. So I've been doing longer distance walks around the West Midlands and then um, these are two or three times a week and they'll, they'll be in areas such as like Coventry or Birmingham and then I've been going for like a couple of hours like just like little rambles around Warsaw with my sketchbook and then just doing drawings. So we'll go for like 10 minutes. I don't really like think about it too much, but I think it's more like instinctual. But like if I've been reading something at the time, then like I think that'll come into it. So I was reading about um, recently like weeds that just grow like around the landscape and in like the wastelands and things. I think that was why I came to like looking at the buddleias and just seeing like what the plants say about like the land that they're growing on because like they give signs of like the history of the place. It's kind of nice sometimes because like when you get into like a routine of doing something and you come out at the same time every day you get into like other people's routine and then you start to notice like the same people. Look for um, stories like in the landscape when I'm out walking and like look for signs of like things that might have happened and just, I don't know just thinking about yeah the stories and the narrative of a place. Yeah, so I bring the time so I can like record like the amount of time that I'm outside and the amount of out like time that I spend on the drawing and then I can like transfer that to the bigger chalk drawing in the back of the space. Drawing on the back of the space. Um, I've done it in chalk because it's like quite a temporary like material and it, afterwards it'll just be able to be like wiped away um, and I think it comes because I spend so much time like just walking past like temporary things like graffiti and like watching them like be covered over and like be repainted over and I just like that like impermanence of things so that's like one of the reasons that I've chosen to use like chalk during the residency. So in my morning walks I've been trying to um, explore like all the different housing estates and the streets in between my house in Essington and the art gallery. Ah, oh. That was a good catch, you just caught a fish. On my long distance walk I'll take my map. Um, and then I'm trying to take one like analogue photograph for every square kilometre. Um, and then I've been like putting a cross on it on my map. And when I take my pictures I do a lot of like double exposures and like a like a lot of like layering in my work. Um, well it, I used to take pictures of like, like the floor I was standing on and then like something in like a marker in the landscape. And so in the on the chalkboard drawing at the back wall I've done a, like a lot of layering and I think that's quite a big part of my work. I'm trying to like um, find a way to like balance like drawing like with photography and I've gone into like this black and white. My work's become quite like black and white but I think like the aesthetics of like the chalkboard drawing like lends itself to um, black and white analogue photography. Um, so I'm just collecting just like different weeds and things from around here to like take back to the studio and then I'm going to incorporate them into the um, window, the window drawing. So like as a result of it I've got to make, um, like I've always wanted to make like lot, really like large scale drawings. Um, and so like the residency has given me that time to work on a much larger scale and I think that's going to be something that I'll take forward with me. 
I think um, my work's more about just that experience like of the moment in time. I think it is like a performance, it's just it exists for that moment in time and it's not something like an object that you'll take away afterwards. I think like the experience of making the drawing and going back to the chalkboard every single day and just redrawing on it is like the same experience of like going for a walk every day and it's just constantly changing. Um, but then when I go into like the next project, I was like, take that experience with me. It's not like it's become lost, if that makes sense. Yeah.